Welcome to my channel Sara Cooks for You. Today we are making Hyderabadi Murk which is a very rich and creamy mutton stew that's generally served in weddings in Hyderabad. For this I've used about half cup of ghee. You can use more up to one cup. Um, you can add it according to your requirement. These are the whole spices that we'll be using. I've used about four green cardamoms, two cinnamon, one big uh, cardamom half teaspoon peppercorns, half a teaspoon shazira and this is kebab chini or kubeb which is about half teaspoon and four to five cloves. These are the whole spices that go into making the marg. Let's heat the ghee, ghee and we'll add in the whole spices. Add in finely sliced onion. I've added one big uh, onion. We'll fry this till it is transparent and add in ginger garlic paste which is about 2 tablespoons. This is a very traditional and exotic dish that is uh, generally served for weddings and also is very popular in Ramadan and it's generally served with shirmal. Add in salt to taste about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon and then we'll add in the mutton. I've used about half a kilo of mutton pieces. Use soft with bone pieces. This adds to the taste of the marg. We'll roast the mutton. Add in about 3-4 teaspoon of pepper powder and some water, about 3 fourth cup of water and we'll pressure cook this mutton for about 15 minutes. Or you can increase or decrease the timing according to the tenderness of your meat. I pressure cooked it for about 15 minutes and now I've uh, ground about 12 uh, almonds and 10 cashews to a fine paste and we'll be adding this to the uh, marg. This adds to the creamy and rich taste of this dish. This was very popular during uh, the Nizam time and it is uh, really a very delicious dish and it goes really well with even parathas or rotis. Cook the uh, mixture, uh, cook the meat really well after you add the almond and cashew paste and then add water according to the requirement. Now add a handful of chopped coriander, about uh, 5 to 6 leaves of mint and 2 green chilies. Cook it for about 2 minutes and finally We'll add some water to adjust the consistency and in the end we'll be adding garam masala. I've added about half a teaspoon. This will be added right in the end to, uh, mean, to preserve the taste. I hope you try this recipe and I'm sure you're going to love it. It's really very simple to make and it tastes absolutely delicious. Do try it and let me know in the comments section if you liked it.